Good morning, Arx. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, mate. Yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. A bit uh, overcast today, isn't it? It is a little bit, but uh, plenty of work to do today, don't we? We do indeed. Yep. I think all that tillage that we almost did in the last episode is still sitting there waiting for us. It is. It is. So if we can get in and get those done, we'll probably rip through them pretty fast with the two cultivators. So uh, maybe look at mowing some more grass, getting that in before winter. Yep. Yep. That'll come in handy for BGA and uh, animals, won't it? It will. It will. If we can keep on making money off the BGA, uh, that'll be good. Grand. Well, not much more to do than jump straight into it, is there? Yeah, let's go. Alrighty. Morning, folks. Yes, we're back, and apologies again for last week, where I managed to mess up my recording and not have an episode to share with you lot. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be back to normal this week. Now, all I've got to do is remember where I put my tractor, which I think is the other side of the building here, just abandoned somewhere. Yep, there it is, down by the silos. Right, so, straight into cultivating. We've got the two here, we've got the Ford one there, and we've got the International one here. Both from Pleasant V Farms, very nice little bit of kit that. So let's get this fired up, and let's head over to the fields. We've got the brilliant relight installed here, and as you can see, with the clouds it becomes very overcast, which is, which is again, very nice, I do like it. Oh, because he's maybe setting up a uh, a course here. Auxiliary FSG. Go ahead, mate. I'll just set you a course. 20 foot cultivator that you can use. Should run along beside me quite nicely. Excellent. Thank you, buddy. No worries. There you go. We'll just make sure we're lined up here. But I think it may have picked up the course already. So we'll... Uh, Gets off lined up here. We will switch it on. Lower down the cultivator. See how we go. We're looking good. Right. Let us push on with this, shall we? We'll see you in a short while. Right, we are making good progress here. We've done one of the first fields already. We're about halfway through this one and making fast progress. So we will push on, get this lot finished, and then we're going to head over just over there where you can see the yellow fields is where our soybeans were harvested. So that's the other fields we need to till. So we'll get those done. Quick smart, but uh, for now, just uh, enjoy the farming.
Right, we are all done here. We're just heading back to the yard to drop that off. All of those fields are done and ready. I had to confess to sneaking off for five minutes to do something in real life, so Arg's managed to finish the fields off nicely. So let's find him and work out what we're going to do next. And there he is waiting for us. Thanks for finishing those fields, Arx. That's all right. I hope you had a good round or whatever it was you were doing. <laughs> Just to let the viewers in, I was out at a party last night at a golf club and uh, I parked in the captain, the club captain's space and I got a rude phone call so I had to quickly dash and get to the car. That's at least his excuse. It's a pretty good excuse for why you left me to do all the work, I must admit. Oh, well, it's, it's one of my more creative ones, isn't it? It is, it is. very. I can see why you're in creative fields. <laughs> Anyhow, and not in my fields, right. Ah, you're good. That's good. I like mm, that. Mm, mm. Mowing grass? Yes, let's cut some grass. Cool. Now, while you're away, I did actually sell a thousand chickens, so we've got another 20 grand out of those. Oh, did you? Look mm. at that. Crikey, we're nearly at a quarter of a million. We are. I made an executive decision in your absence. That was a good one. Any longer, I was actually going to go spend that quarter of a million dollars. Uh, that's what worried me. <laughs> You'd come back and you would have bought a whole load of new stuff. <laughs> Speaking of that, though, shall we um, shall we lease a baler and a, and a wrapper, or maybe the all in one pot? The all in one Pottinger one's quite nice too, isn't it? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I think so. Stack up some silage bales near the uh, BGA. Yeah, something like that. We'll go and have a look. So, would you like to mow or uh, windrow or? Oh, yeah. Oh, you mowed last time, so how about I go mowing and you can do some windrowing. All right. Sounds like a deal. All right. Let's get into it. Here he goes. Args will take that because it doesn't have the... Uh, he hasn't got the front loader on it. And my tractor's a little bit more powerful, so it works better for those mowers. So I will go and find his tractor wherever he's put it. And uh, there it is down there. And connect the wind roll, which is down here as well. Quite like driving Argus's tractor. Right, there we go. I'm going to give Argus a little bit of time. I think we'll maybe do two rows because this... Although I think they might be the same width. I'll give them a little bit of space to uh, catch up. I think this is actually wider. Looking at that, it's definitely wider. So, yeah, we'll let him do two passes before we kick in. We'll catch them up anyway. I think this goes faster than uh, the mower. Pull we'll ourselves down, spin ourselves up, and we're off. Put some lights on. Make sure we catch the edge of this, that's the important bit. Don't want to leave any lying. Args has just finished the mowing, he's done the top section as well. We've got, well, a little bit left in this bottom corner, won't take too long to do, and we'll jump over to the other side. I think he's going to go and get the baler. We're going to bale and wrap these. We were just deciding whether or not we use the pickup wagons, but we've done that a few times now, so we'd mix it up a bit. We've got enough money in the bank to, we'll probably lease a baler, I don't think we need to buy one, but uh, we will lease it, and uh, then we could do some stacking of bales in the bunker next to the BGA. It's a different way of loading up, but uh, still good fun. Got to keep things fresh, 
So uh, I'll push on with this and get it done ASAP and uh, we will uh, either be loading bales, which could be fun, or uh, help him with the bailing. We'll see. Right, there we go. We have just about this tiny little bit here. And we are good on the uh, windrowing. There we go. Job done. So now we just need to head back, dump this, and we will um, go and get... We're going to get an automated bale loader. Args and I chatted about it, and the time it would take to load them all manually, because there is a lot of bales... We thought it was better, more prudent, just to get a bale loader. Because actually, for what we, whatever we load into the uh, into the silo there, the bunker silo, we may just drop a few loads directly into the um, directly into the BGA as well. So, right, let's head down to the shop, and pick up pick up the trailer. We'll just use one of the base game ones, I think. So we'll see you there. By that time, there'll be a good chunk of bales on the field. Right, here we are. Let's see what we need. Bale loaders. Really, this is the only one, really, we've got available to us. So we'll go with this. Well, it's 24 bales, so quite a lot. Do nicely. And we are going to lease it. We don't need to buy it. Keep uh, keep the cost down. Because I don't know how often we're going to do bales. But it was just nice to do something different. See how generous the uh, trigger is. Pretty generous that, isn't it? Right, I reckon we'll catch up. Arg's up pretty quick doing this. Let's head back to the yard. That's actually well timed because uh, we only had about five left on the field, six left on the field. Um, so by the time we get back, hopefully Argsy will have got another bit of a head start so we're not hanging around too much. But what we're going to do with these is we're going to dump these into the little bunker next to the BGA and then we can, as and when we need to, keep topping up the BGA. It's a little bit, a little bit easier than uh, doing it with the uh, forage wagons. But equally, it's um, quite a good way of loading up the animal feeder as well. And there we go. I think I just need to hit the Y button now. Maybe a little bit too far back. Yeah, there we go. Just give it a bit of space to push the bales back on. And Y again, I believe. Yep, yeah, there we go. And now I just need to... Just subtly roll forward as they come off the trailer, and hopefully they won't fall apart when they uh, get to the end. He says, hopefully. There we go. Not bad. Seen worse. 
and we'll fold it all back up and head back to the field. Three little rows left. We'll probably get another couple of bales out of this, and that will be us. So what have we got on here? We've got nine, maybe ten or eleven bales. But I'd go for twelve. So let's uh, let's watch our oxy do these last couple, and then uh, we will be done for the day. Covered a lot of ground getting all that tillage done, and mowing this again has been great. That'll. Uh, we are, we've got silage coming out of our ears now, which is great. A nice little income earner, for sure. I'll grab this. And grab this. And we are done. Eleven bales. Oh, I don't want to miss this. I suppose even if we do, it doesn't really matter because we can uh, we can pop a little uh, forklift or something to nudge them to the right spot. But I think this should be pretty good. At the moment they're fermented, they will um, disappear. All good, Ugs. Yep. It we uh, there's a lot of grass. Fifty nine bales at five and a half thousand liters a pop. Yeah, that's uh, that sets us up for the winter, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. We don't have uh, quite the hassle of getting these loaded into the BGA like we would with loose silage, which is good too. Yeah, I know. There's a nice nice little bonus for that, isn't there? Mm, there is. Yeah, and it was nice to use a little bit of different gear than what we have been using as well. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Keep it keep it fresh. Hmm. Hmm. That's the aim. Well, I think that is a perfect place to wrap things up, though. We've been going for a wee while and. Uh, it's going to be a long episode if we tried to do anything else, so... Indeed. No, nope, thanks, mate. That was uh, that was good fun. Yep, no, thank you, as always. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll catch you a little bit later. Yes, indeed. Take care, mate. Bye for now. All right. Bye. So there we go, folks. Lots and lots of silage and some fun kit to be used. Oh, there we go. That was a, that was a good laugh. Always good fun, these... Uh, episodes love the series uh, i think we've come on a long way we have mentioned before that uh, when we move on from here we will release this game save and all the mods so you too if you want to advance life on no man's land after we've gone um, you've got all this at your disposal to do that with so um, stay tuned because we are looking for another map and to freshen things up we've been on here for coming up for a year now so uh time to maybe move on to pastures new but uh, for now we'll keep churning away and getting things done but uh, as always thank you very much for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed it and i will see you again very soon take care bye for now <laughs>